Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall. Last time, we checked on Nolthaga, which is the uh, Dead King's mother, and she's kind of crazy, but still alive. And that dungeon was just terrible. <laughs> anyway, um, about that book I picked up, I said I was going to read it on screen and admit an episode to it, but I figured out something else I, I've uh, been wanting to do. Uh, while I played the Elder Scrolls series, like all of them, you know, there was all these books of lore and stuff, and I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if there was, like, a, a YouTube channel or video that, um, like, read out the books, and so you could have, like, audio versions of them? I was like, well, maybe I should do that. So at some point, I actually do want to read out the, uh, books that you can find in Daggerfall and kind of make it the, its own little series. So, um, we'll, we'll see about that. Anyways, um... So what do we do now? We finished her quest and then she wouldn't talk to us. Well, I believe a certain amount of time has to pass before uh, you get your next quest. So, let's just go somewhere random. I actually want to find out where Wayrest is. There's Sentinel. Because I'm going to want to go there later. It's Tombi. Wayrest is probably here. There. What the heck is Wayrest? There it is. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to want to come here later, but I might as well uh, go here now just to make time pass. Oh, I wouldn't need to capitalize Wait, do I need to capitalize it? Oh, I don't. Okay. And 110 days. Uh, here you just go recklessly. That's quite a ways away. we don't enter. Okay, good. We didn't get there at night. Now, I believe if we just kind of wander around now. Let's check out the uh, map of this place. Because we're going to be spending some time here as well. Not just in uh, Daggerfall, even though it's the namesake of this place. Oh, I remember this place. Okay, so there's the castle. And it's surrounded by a lot of empty space, so it will be very easy to find. But I do remember. Ah, oh, here we go. A stalwart young woman wearing the lip. Library of Dagger Ball presents you with a letter. Turning sharply, she mounts her horse and rides away. So now we have our new thing. Hey, what's this? Uh, my eyes and ears abroad say you are interested in the fate of a certain letter. Any emperor should not be so careless, nor should a queen. You really should come visit me in Castle Wayrest. I have some most interesting tidbits that I'm sure you would enjoy hearing. Gaia, Princess of Wayrest. Huh. Let's remember that. That's actually the, the next thing I was going to do. Well, I need your assistance once more. Your valor and discretion were invaluable last you served me in the matter with Nulfaga. Please meet with me at Castle Daggerfall when next you pass through. And luckily with these quests, uh... There is no need to uh, do them immediately. There's no time limit on them. The only main quest that has a time limit on it is the one where you have to make Brisiana, and even if you miss that, you can still continue with the main story. All right. So um, I don't even remember getting that other letter. Wow. All right. So let's go back to Daggerfall first. Yeah, I know it's a lot of traveling, but oh well. Let's do it cautiously so we don't. Uh, get there in the middle of the night, that'd be bad. And luckily, because I'm a member of a knight's order, we no longer um, have to spend money at inns. So that is a big help. Yeah, I, uh, off screen I did that. The Knights of the Dragon, I believe, here in uh, Daggerfall. But you have to get a high enough reputation before you can join them. Anyway, I'll meet you at the castle. Alright, so there she is again, the Queen. Felton, I do not even know how to breach this subject. I need you to promise me on your ancestors' honor that you will do what you can to help me and never breathe of, of what I say or what you see to anyone else anywhere. Will you so swear? Yes. I will trust you then, Felton. The matter concerns my mother-in-law, the Dowager Queen of Daggerfall and widow of Lysandus, Minciera. As mistress of the household finances, I have noticed that she has been paying for the upkeep of a fortress called Castle Necromogan. So yeah, I think before I couldn't find Necromogan because I needed to get this quest first and then it would appear. That's why it wasn't there before. Oh well. 
complete with a large platoon of soldiers. A short while ago, she disappeared with a wrapped parcel of papers and came back days later with empty hands. She has recently left again with another parcel of letters, and my spies have verified that she has gone to Castle Necromogan. You will have to trust that my suspicion of her activities is justifiable, for I am not in a position to offer proof. What I need for you to do is go to Castle Necromogan and find that parcel of letters or any other information about her activities there. It's Mins Minisera will be reuniting and returning in 19 days. You do not have any more time than that, I fear. Good luck. Uh-oh. Okay, so uh, we need to do a quick... I've already been to Castle Necromogan, so I'm not going to uh, re-explore it. I'm going to go there and warp around until I find the special room that has what we need. But I'll just meet you in there. Okay, here we are, and... Uh... Oh, wait, no, I... I'm an idiot. So what I was talking about with Hassel Necromogan, okay. I that was one of my cancelled videos. This is a place where we needed to go for something else. Am I am I remembering this right? I did a cancelled video where I was going through a dungeon, but it ended up being too hard. Did I need to go to Castle Necromogan before and I couldn't find it? Oh well. There is a... Uh, it's usually this castle, but it can also be a random dungeon, so I'm not going to go exploring all of it just to find the thing, because it's going to be too hard. Oh, well, there's this. Oh, yeah, this is. Okay, it was where I needed to go. I guess it just didn't redo the map. I guess the map undoes itself. That's just great. But, yeah, this is where I needed to defeat that wizard. I remember. Okay. Because there was another dungeon I went to when I got that letter from that guy that I saved in the Mage's Guild, blah, blah, blah. Tried to do the video, couldn't. All right. Let's find... Oh, hello. What are you guys? Mummies! Let's, uh... Kill these mummies all dead and whatnot. Luckily, I got a much better sword, so it's, uh, doing pretty nicely. Cost me a lot of money, though. Alright. Oh, we can get a lot of money back. Yeah, it costs like 10,000 gold. Let's just take that to sell. Hate it when the audio does this. Thing. What are you? Yeah, I have no idea what's going on right now. Okay, did I miss something? I feel like I only checked three. Okay, never mind. Alright, what are you? Holy dagger. Well, yeah, holy dagger's worth a lot of money, so those are good to find. Okay, let's uh, get this treasure and then uh, keep exploring. when it does this and gets me stuck in a, uh, there we go, in the ceiling. But luckily I can just do that. Okay. What do we have here? Holy Tome. Okay, I guess I need to sell this stuff, because I'm not going to bother making anything. And, oh, I believe that is what we actually want. See, easy enough. If I can get it, get the right there we go. The letters are badly burned, but some words can still be read. Let's see, first page. Bend thee too long, my heart doth. You love with my lips, but forget the words they breathe. She doth suspect you cuckled her. And I worship and adore all parts of thee, but thy hollow crown and thy hollow wedding ring, those two empty circles that trap and bring thee pain. And I be so vain to be Lysandus Medora evermore, body and sip nectar from thy hand, love em forever. Fourth page, rest, but they did assume the worst of the settlement, even after all the stallion orcs had been killed, and the straw for mare orcs are seldom weaker than stallion orcs in an only old and sick remained in the rude cam. Who could speak Basiridil, eat and begged for mercy for the children, but Prince Clias said that the children would grow strong and hardy, and that 
and and only and 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 only an unwise leader would show mercy to the subhumans he gave his men leave to mix what with killing the children and they were all murdered in ways that i cannot pen i witnessed it my lady and though i beg your pardon your father did great evil the the shame of mine that i didn't say no shame to all shall abandon my responsibilities you and together the rest of the world be damned let me put this bet knee behind i shall crush them at Kringane during dead, no one will suspect that a king would give up. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I'll meet you back at the castle now. Alright, back here with time to spare. How very sad. To be honest, this is not what I expected the letters to contain. Poor Minciera. Everyone at court knows that her husband, the late King Lysandus, preferred the face and form of another woman of her. So yeah, I thought that this woman that we're talking to was King Lysandus' wife, but I guess she's his daughter-in-law or daughter daughter or daughter-in-law but she still attempts to hide all evidence of it her loyalty to Lysandus is almost as great as his foolish loyalty to the Emperor those poor little children how dreadful the butchery of the innocents we know of the barbarism of the orcs but surely they did not deserve that hardly surprising that Minciera did not Minisera did not want to know that her father was responsible for such a grotesque enterprise well, I thank you, Veldon, for your valor and your discretion. Please accept the small token of my esteem, not as a payment, but as a gift. May Oblivion bless me. May Oblivion bless me. Alright. 1,044 gold pieces. Alright. And now I do want to go to Wayrest, so I will meet you there at uh, in front of the castle. Okay, while I was looking for my stuff, I found another note. Greetings and salutations. I hope your trip was uneventful. I see you're keenly interested in the haunting of Daggerfall. My father and King Lysandus were somewhat close. Uh, should you come visit me, I might be able to shed some light upon recent events involving Lysandus. Prince Loton of Sentinel. Okay, so yeah, this is when I guess that person that gave me the letters gave me several. So anyway, but yeah, to Wayrest. Well, I wish you could see the castle better, but it's raining really badly, so, uh, oh well. Anyway, let us go inside. And, uh, there's actually a specific person I want to talk to right now, and it's not the one who wrote us the letter. Not yet. So, uh, hopefully I find that person first, because there are a couple princesses in here. So, uh, let me, uh, save and make sure I talk to the right person. Oh, okay, I talked to her right away. Hello, Velda. I am Elisana King, Aidware's child, and heir apparent to Wayrest. Perhaps you could help me out for a bit of a... Of a out of a bit of an embarrassing predicament, the senior member of the Elder Council, my father's good friend, Lord Castellian, has left court on holiday and I forgot to return a cloak I borrowed from him. If it isn't too much of a bore to you, would you mind bringing it to him in Penton? I could offer you a lovely bracer as payment. Okay, yeah, sure. How frightfully nice of you to help a silly girl like myself. He's the robe, and now it's very important that my Lord Castellian has the robe soon. He's at one of his houses, the Yeoman. Ye Yamham residence in Penton. Lord Castellian it shouldn't be too hard to find. Just ask around for him or the Yeoham residence and give him the room. I do really appreciate this, Veldum. It, sh Veldum. it shouldn't really shouldn't. Blah, blah, blah. It really shouldn't take you longer than 14 days to get to Penton back. So I'll see you then. All right. So uh, that was easy enough. I will meet you in Penton. All right, so I'm here in the town and uh, asked around until I found the uh, residence. An irritated voice hollers, it's open. Okay, so where's this uh, person we are looking for? Gotta look around. This is why I love the uh, map marker system they implemented in Elder Scrolls 4. Of course, they couldn't have implemented that sooner. Oh, well. See, uh, nothing here. Yeah. By the way, I don't know if I've shown this before, but in order to get into an attic, there's going to be a ladder, and you just click on it, and you automatically go up. So no uh, awkward climbing like some uh, first-person games like to do. Not in here. These are all closets. Okay. How about in here? Oh, you the one? 
gift from Lady Elisana. Thank you, Felden. It fits me like a gift. I thought there was something she was returning. I feel a tearing sound as if the fabric of reality were being ripped open. What? Okay. Oh, hello. What the? <laughs> Assassin, Lord Castilian was the best of men. You shall die for what you did. Oh, what Oh, what did that last thing say? Somebody leave me a comment because I'm going to forget to check that. What that last... But yeah. Oh, jeez. Hello. Yeah, what happened? That thing basically killed him. I don't know why he didn't actually just die. But yeah. And people are going to be pissed at me now. See all these uh, guys coming after me? They think that I murdered him. Uh-oh. So, uh... Whatever that was about, but yeah, that's actually a pretty cool, uh... Animation. Dangerous Sorcerer. Yikes. Anyway, let's, uh, loot these people. <laughs> and, uh, get out of here. Yeah, we were tricked. We were framed. It's not good. Uh, steel. We can't equip steel, unfortunately. Let's see. Ebony longsword. Still much better. Adamantium right pauldron. Can we equip that? Nope. Too bad. No adamantium for us. But uh, plenty of golden ingredients. I cannot carry any more stuff. Oh, okay. Can I just at least get some more gold? I'm going to have to sell stuff. Oh, not even more gold? How much gold is this? 708. Let's remove that. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna sell stuff as soon as possible, probably off screen, but uh, yeah. Even though the guy is standing here, he is indeed uh, dead. That's what's supposed to be. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. And I'll uh, meet you, I believe, back at Castle Wayrest. Yeah. Oh, how marvelous you are. Here, let me give you the bracelet I promised you. I hope Lord Castellian appreciates the extra work I put into the robe. It is a real attention getter now. Let me give you something more than the bracelet, Veldon. My father is very interested in a certain ancient relic called the Totem of Tiber Septum. He has spies all over the place looking for it. When they find it, my father will need someone to secure it. Obviously, whoever he chooses will be fabulously well rewarded. I'll give me a name, that is the least I can do. Okay, but what is this Totem of Tiber Septum? You're gonna want to remember that. Okay, I am an idiot. I was I actually went back to Daggerfall because I thought what I was looking for was over there, but no. But it is good because I was able to uh, sell what I needed. Anyway, I'm still on Wayrest. The one we don't want to talk to, the one who sent us that letter, is right here. You're trying to track down that letter of the Emperor's, yes? There are very few scandals in the Bay of which I am totally ignorant. I could give you some information, but nothing's without a price. That I know well. That I know well. A champion who does not... Who does fear the fire of oblivion. Are you interested? I, I think it should be does not. By the Whorefather, that is a relief to me. Do not ask any questions. Get this letter to a certain high-level sorcerer at the Necromancer's Crypt. Scourge Barrow. Dragon Tail Mountains. Avoid the rift. If you see it, you have gone to avoid the rift. If you see it, you've gone too far. They will not be expecting you and will not wait for any introductions. The necromancers feel that death is a reward for the living, not a punishment. Once you have delivered the letter, they would feel no need to guarantee your safety. It is their way. I need the letter delivered and a response from the King of Worms in my hand. One month from now, at the absolute latest. The risks are very high, Milton. Please do not fail. All right. So, now we have something else to do. Let's check out that letter. Uh, king Words, I agree to your terms. I will give you my first, and you will exert your influence on the King of First Hold on Somerset Isle. Only you can let him speak with my dead, with his dead son. For that, he would be even he would even marry Nolfaga. Hmm. That is interesting. What is going on there? Well, off to Scourge Barrow we go. In the Dragon Tail Mountains.
Alright, here we are, Scourge Barrel. Luckily, it's a bit more prominent than uh, some other dungeons. But alright, we can find the entrance. There we go. And uh, luckily, the way through is pretty direct. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll show you where it is. So we won't take too long in this dungeon at all. Not nearly as long as the last episode. Glad I'm getting a lot done here. Alright. So yeah, it's an interesting start. This is where I was talking about when say dungeons could be pretty cool. Let me uh, save and let's start. Alright, so... What we want to do is... Click here. Climb on in. There we go. Fall down, get a little bit hurt, but it's fine. And yeah, there are gonna be enemies in here, of course. Alright, so after I do that, keep going until I find a door. And there it is. Alright, kill the zombies. The zombies can actually be pretty tough in this game. But uh, I'm a bit over leveled, as you saw. Uh, no. Okay. Alright, so once I open that door. Okay. So, go this way now. I believe. Okay, good. Going the right way. So now... Keep on going. Yeah, we're heading the right way. I remember, because we're actually going to uh, be coming here a couple times, I believe. Of course, uh, once I actually need to return here, I'll just kind of do my little teleport cheat to get to uh, where we're going. But I might as well show you now to show you what this uh, dungeon looks like. Let's see. Um. Alright. Alright, I do believe I want to head down here. Okay, and then... Oh, and we should be here. All I have to do is do that. And we are here. Yeah, pretty cool, right? So, uh, the King of Worms is uh, this gentleman right here. Very good. If you are not rewarded with death by the loyal servants of the Barrow, give this note to Princess Morgaya, please. And, uh, we've done it, the ladies. And I don't think these people will attack you right off the bat. But uh, anyway, I'll get out of here, meet you back at Wayrest, where we will end this episode off. Alright, so we're back. Hello, Princess. It's done. I'll be Queen of First Hold, although I'm sure the engagement will be quite lengthy. Now, I promised you information about the Emperor's letter. The letter he seeks in the hands of Gortwag, the Lord Warlord of the Orcs. He bought it from the Thieves Guild of Daggerfall after one of their numbers stole it from Queen Aubki. Aubki. I confess I don't know why the Emperor sent it to Aubki. The girl is innocent to a fault, and everyone knows that Gothrid is not the loyal Empire. A toady that Lysandus was, of course, my own family. Well enough at this boring court gossip. If you really want to find this letter, you should get in good with Min Mini Sarah. I keep wanting to say Mini Sarah. Mini Sarah, the former queen of Daggerfall and queen mother to Gothrid. I went directly approach her. Start with someone of the lower station. And we have an amulet that uh, don't know what to do with. I could probably enchant it. All right. So what other quests await us? Well, you're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Daggerfall. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.